Hello everyone, my name is Pukar Thal. I'm an English instructor and today we're covering Great Five English. We're covering the chapter describing possessions and its reading comprehension. So let's begin the class. So today we are beginning a new unit, unit 8, describing possessions. All right. So to begin with, now I want you to observe these pictures as shown on the screen. Now, the questions are simple. Remember the chapter name, by the way, it's describing possessions. And you'll understand what possession means after I read these examples. And you see, minas, binodes. And do you see here apostrophe and s? That is apostrophe and s. Do you see here? Of course, you do see that, right? Apostrophe. This is what we call apostrophe and then s. So this all is means possessions. It means that it says it belongs to binod. It shows possessions. Okay. So here's minas. Whose bag is this? It is Mina's bag. Look at that. It is Mina's bag, meaning the bag belongs to Mina. It is hers. Now, Binod's. Whose doll is this? It is Binod's doll. It is his. And also, do take care of hers and his. They also, this apostrophe, this hers, this his, they also belongings. Okay? So, this is a conversation here. All right? And... Look at this. The second picture. I want you to now observe the second picture here. And just put similar question. Alright. You can, in fact, I advise you to do this in the copy. But before you do it in the copy, first of all, practice in the classroom. Have conversation with your friend. Like, for instance, if your name is, for example, let's say, Susant. Example, okay. Now, Susant asks a question. Isn't that a guitar? Yes, that's a guitar. Right? At least to me, that's a guitar, not that much of a musician. Anyways, so whose guitar? Remember, we're here dealing with picture one. So Susan asks, whose guitar is this? Now, let's say to which Rita answers. And Rita says, it is very simple. It is Ravi's guitar because the person name is Ravi. Now, to so possession, that means to say that the guitar belongs to him. We have to have first name, R-A-V-I, Ravi, and then give an apostrophe, and then S. This is Ravi's guitar. It is his. Well, in general conversation, this rear for me is not that necessary, by the way. All right, once you say it is Ravi's guitar, I mean, he gets the answer, right? Susan gets the answer. But still, to understand what else's possessions, all right, this exercise, however, is helpful. It is his. It is Ravi's guitar. Similarly, you can have a similar conversation for Goma, Hema, and Tinis. Whose dog is this? It is Hema's dog. It is hers. See? It's the same pattern that we follow. Let's move further. Now, I want you to observe this picture once again. All right? Okay. So, let's read this short chant or a short poem, I would call it. And here's the dinosaur skeleton, should I call it. And here's something written about it. Okay. Have you ever seen dinosaurs? Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, where have you been? We've only seen you in books that you're in. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, why aren't you here? I want to know what made you all disappear. Well, indeed, it's a very short and sweet poem. And indeed, don't we all want to know what made all these dinosaurs disappear? Though there are a lot of assumptions or theories, but still in a way, it's a mystery how a creature once thrived on earth disappear right it's a big question of course but of course there are many widely accepted theories of that anyway this was just to chant and let's move further now it's just a game time let's say see so let me first read it out and please as i read observe my reading one student is detective do you know who are detectives by the way have you ever heard the name sherlock holmes or you gotta figure it out then yourself, okay? Gotta know who detective is or who are detectives, all right? Their task is to detect and to figure out the mystery, mysteries. Anyways, let's continue. One student is detective and sent out of the class. The teacher takes something like pen, ruler, etc. from one of the students in the class. The student outside is called in and he she has to find out who belongs to that thing and asks whose pen is this is it yours the class responds yes it is mine or no it isn't mine the detective has to find out 
or find the owner within five guesses next time another student is sent out. It's teaching you the, you know, the, the words which shows belongingness or which in return, when you get the answer, you always have certain kind of possessions. The task is simple. A student goes out of the classroom and a teacher hides something, maybe a pencil box, all right, or a ruler or a pen or anything. And then, of course, the person would not know whose pen the teacher has taken or had taken. And then the, the student who is out of the classroom, he comes in again and the teacher hands over that pen to the very uh, student who was out. And the task of the students is you've got five guesses. You've got to maybe have five questions. You just look at the class around, make it more interesting. You look at the class around, look at the expression, and then you can ask, whose pen is this? Is it yours? Or does this pen belong to you? Or could you tell me who this pen belongs to? So you can ask a question like this uh, and figure it out who becomes a better detective. Okay, so let's move further. So remember there was a question about dinosaurs earlier. Now let's go and read out how the dinosaurs disappeared. Yes, there are many assumptions how they disappeared. All right. It is, it is believed that the Earth was hit by an asteroid, almost uh, a big asteroid, okay, uh, which created a global catastrophe and where dinosaurs couldn't, couldn't adapt to that uh, nuclear winter, meaning a long period of winters, winter that followed after the dinosaurs, I mean, after the asteroid hit the Earth. Okay, but yes, that's that is what is commonly believed in today's context. But hey, maybe your book has something else to say. Who knows? Let's figure it out. First of all, before we begin, what do you see in the picture? And I want you to write down, write down what you see in the picture. I literally want you to write down what you see in the picture, not just say about it. Yes, in the classroom, you can say what you see in the picture. But hey, if ever you become an archaeologist, maybe you do this profession. I mean, one day you might find a dinosaur is born right here in Nepal. Who knows? All right. So I just wanted to write down what you see in the picture. I mean, you just see a skeleton, I know, but still, maybe you have a different view. And how do we know the existence of dinosaurs? So to know this, the second question, however, let's read the passage. Dinosaurs suddenly disappeared millions of years ago, together with large number of species. We know about their existence mainly from fossils found in rocks. Fossils are usually formed when an animal falls into sand or mud and is quickly buried. The soft parts of the animal decay and become the part of the mud, but the hard parts like teeth, bones, cell, etc. remain. These parts make sips in the mud and that helps scientists find out many things about the species that disappeared millions of years ago. There were many types of dinosaurs judging from the fossils found. There were carnivorous dinosaurs called theropoda and there were herbivorous dinosaurs called sauropoda. Herbivores had much longer necks and they had large powerful jaws and very sharp claws. Another group of dinosaurs was Ornithischia. It can be further classified or further divided into various types. Such dinosaurs had two heavy legs plates along their backs and tails. They also had heavy armor on the head and body. Many scientists believe that the cause of extinction of dinosaurs and other species was a large asteroid that crashed into the Earth. According to this theory, the asteroid threw huge amounts of dust and water vapor into the atmosphere that blocked the sunlight and caused many types of vegetation to die off. So the dinosaurs starved to death. So remember, Okay, this is an assumption or this is what we call widely believed theory that that's how dinosaurs disappeared. Okay, so we come to know that they were vegetarian, they were carnivorous, they were herbivores, oh, sorry for the word vegetarian, rather herbivores, carnivores, All right, and they're classed many, many species of dinosaurs. And it is even believed that the birds that you see today some of them have evolved from that period of time. Okay, at, w at one point of time, these birds that are sleep flying around, at one point of time, they were a species of dinosaurs who roamed the earth on their two feet. Okay, so that's the process of evolution. 
Anyways, so come to know that, okay, millions of years ago, not just thousands, so not just hundred thousand, but millions of years ago, not even a million year ago, or two million year ago, or in fact, hundred, in fact, millions of years ago, we had dinosaurs here, okay, two to three hundred million years ago. So imagine that Earth, when Earth was fully occupied by these perhaps wonderful creatures. Of course, human beings were no, not there at that time, but that's the history Earth holds. And of course, it's likely that Earth has much more secret. All right, so here's one. From the above text, find the words that are similar in meaning to the following. The first letter of these words are given. Died out, no longer in existence. And of course, you should be knowing it. To figure this out, you have to have a dictionary next to you. So if you have a dictionary, this is fairly an easy task. First, reconfirm, all right? What you do is first read the passage again and look for the let word that start from these letters, the one which I'm underlining right now. And once you come across that word, of course you have the meaning then, and then you check its meaning in the dictionary, and then you'll have the words here. Now, died out, no longer in existence. Isn't it pretty simple? That would simply mean Remember, you might have to read the passage time and again, time and again, time and again. It would certainly mean E X T I N C T extinct. See, died out, no longer in existence means it simply means ex extinct. Or we can also go for extinction. Your book has the word C T I extinction. Process of getting destroyed or rotten. This is D E C A Y D K. So see, all the words you'll find it right in the passes. Of course, you might have to read the passes again and again. Figure out the word, get help from the dictionary, you will get the words done. Okay. So here's a very wonderful and simple exercise here. All right. This is one of the uh, biggest uh, land mammal on earth today. Okay. Okay. If we're talking about dinosaurs, at one point of time, we even had mammoth, uh, which are course the elephant uh, with fur all right possibly way bigger than the one we find today that is the african elephant and even man mammoth disappeared right somewhere around 15000 years ago okay so label the parts of the elephant body okay so i'm going to do very easy exercise to you that is i'm just going to write here tail and done rest of course what is that part called okay you can create out yourself of course uh, this you might be mistaken here. That's hinting to our eye here because that's what we have here for the option, right? So you go for eye. See, very, very easy exercise. Now, remember, there's a question at the very beginning, which was how do we know the, how do we know the existence of dinosaurs? And remember I told you to find, of course, you'll find all the answers in the past itself okay so what do you think is the answer to this how do we know the existence of the dinosaur very simple answer if you look at the, the slide or the video right at the beginning you'll come across a sentence which gives the answer to this particular question and we know about the existence of dinosaurs mainly from fossils found in rocks we know about the existence of dinosaurs mainly from fossils found in rocks Remember, the answers lie right in the passes. All you have to do is read and figure out the answers. Okay, let's continue with the exercise now. It says number B, a right sort answer. What were carnivorous dinosaurs called? Carnivorous meaning flesh-eating dinosaurs. Okay, so what are carnivorous dinosaurs called? I, V, E, R, O, U, S. Carnivorous dinosaurs were called theropoda. Carnivorous dinosaurs were called theropoda. It's right in the past, a very, very simple exercise. Let's continue further. Look at question number two now. Which had got longer neck? Again, very simple answer right in the passes. Number three, which had got sharp claws? Number four, which had got plates along the back and tail and finally number five okay interesting question i'll call it what did a large asteroid 
cause in the atmosphere. So we, when you write an answer like this, or you can add something on their own, like for instance, a uh, large asteroid had a huge impact in the atmosphere. Now what kind of impact is that? You have to explain that. The asteroid threw huge amounts of dust and water vapor into the atmosphere that blocked the sunlight and caused many types of vegetation to die off. See, this was the impact the asteroid had in the atmosphere. So see, the uh, rest of these questions, right, for instance, number three, what, two, three, four, obviously you can't do it at home. Well, now if you have any queries, feel free to email us at learning at .edu .np. Thank you very much.